Welcome back to PSC Stack Bytes. Today, I want to explain you how a Teams tab built with SharePoint Framework works under the cover. First of all, a Teams tab built with SPFX is nothing more than a web part built with SPFX and hosted in an iframe inside the uh, team client or inside the Teams web application. When we do that, the iframe is rendering a page which is provided by and hosted by the SharePoint team site under the cover of the Microsoft team in which we are. And there is an item created in a list, a hidden list, called hosted app configs, where the item representing the instance of the team tab will have a canvas uh, property which will have the actual instance of the web part rendered in the team, together with all of the settings stored for that specific team tab instance. And that's the reason why we don't have the capability to configure a team's personal app built with SharePoint Framework, because we don't have the backing team site for a personal app. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you in practice how this works. So this is a Teams tab built with SharePoint Framework hosted in Microsoft Teams. And as you can see here in the F12 uh, developer toolbar, we can see that it is running inside an iframe. The iframe is rendering a specific URL, which targets a page, which will be the Teams hosted app.aspx page, which is the one you see right here. And this page will get in the query string the ID of a list and the ID of an item and the ID of a web part instance in that specific item in the target list. So if I go <coughs> to that specific list, which is called hosted app configs, you can see here that we have multiple items. Every single item represents an instance of a team stub in a target team channel. And if, for example, using uh, PowerShell, PMP PowerShell, I connect to that specific site and I get a reference to the list uh, I'm targeting. So I get the list uh, which is uh, corresponding to the hosted uh, uh, app configs list, uh, this one. I can simply get the list by ID, which I'm doing right now into a list object. I can get the specific uh, list item with that ID, the ID number five that we had in the query string from that specific list. And about that item, I want to get the field value for the canvas content one field. And if I copy that value, we can also see the value here in the PowerShell console. But if I copy to the clipboard the value of that field, we can easily see in a uh, notepad that this is a bunch of HTML representing the content uh, of a modern uh, page. And if we search for the web part ID inside this canvas content, we can see that we have uh, a web part control with that specific ID inside the canvas that we have just got. And it is not really uh, easy uh, to be uh, uh, understood, but you can see here, for example, that we have the settings uh, for the users that we configured, like uh, uh, myself uh, or Visa or all the other users that are configured in the people picker, as well as all of the other settings. So this is uh, the content which represents uh, the web part instance together with the settings to uh, represent the configuration of the web part instance. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week when we will start talking about using your teams to build the solutions for Microsoft Teams. Thank you.